We're, we're going to leave it there, but I can guarantee you. Oh, sorry, that we, yeah. we'll come back <laughs> we've from... gone into a whole other thing. <laughs> We're going to talk about this again. I remember there was this film that I watched a couple of years ago. I think it called um, it was a research, a kind of year research a film that was done by Americans. I think it was called uh, Mother Eve or something, where they were uh, researching about the uh, the genetic code of humanity. Mm. Of course, everything yeah. is traced back to Africa, and that that is a common a common sense anyway. Yeah. And then uh, there was this uh, professor, I think her name is Rebecca Kam, if I'm not mistaken, who was saying that uh, it would take um, an African who's coming to Europe about 20,000 years to completely change uh, from the African phenotype. Okay, let, let's use the right word for it now, yep. because it doesn't really change the code, uh, but it changed the appearance, no? Uh, to change from an African appearance to a European appearance, which is basically uh, you now... Um, metamorphosing you are you are changing in response to where you live your environment it will take about twenty thousand years uh so i said oh, well that is a that is a data that is worthy of evaluating worthy of of on the, of understanding yeah, because it, it's built it's built into you but the other thing is that it's not just you know people adapt as well you know we are human beings we are adaptable that's what we do and we adapt over over long periods of time so you know if you think about some of your genetic material is always carried forward you know um and some genes are, are dominant and some genes are are recessive it takes a long time for something for a gene to completely disappear from your chain if you like this is not a overnight thing and so that's the reason why 